Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see a demo on how change event works in our hands-on table. Let me explain you what I'm talking about. So I have a data grid here with three columns A, B, and C. And say I have the cell value as nine here, and I want to change it. Let me change it to 10. Now, as we can see, we have here row index, index, column index, the old value of the cell and the new value of the cell. As part of this video, we are going to see how to fetch this information, how to fetch the row and column indices of the cell where the value is changed, how to fetch the old and new values of the cell where change is made. Now this may be useful in case um, you have an app where uh, you want to retrieve or fetch the old and new values and do some calculations or you want to use the row and column in, uh, indices and um, uh, use it for some calculation. Let's go to the code. I'm in the UI.R and we'll start with loading the required packages library shiny library r hands on table then we have the shiny ui function fluid page we've got the title and couple of headings in the fluid row we have got two columns the first one is used to display the data grid here we have the r hands on table object and then i've got the change information getting displayed in another column with the help of change information object which is coming from server.r let's go to server.r in the server.r we start with creating the data set where we had three columns a b and c then we have the render our hands on table function to display the data table we are using the our hands on table function on the data frame which we created then we have the observe event function where we are capturing this change event and the way we do is we say input dollar table so this table is from the our hands on hands on table object table so we are saying input dollar change dollar changes dollar changes this particular line is telling that okay when the change happens to a cell right? input dollar table dollar changes dollar changes if a change is done on the cell if the values are changed what we need to do okay what is input dollar table dollar changes dollar changes it's a list and the first component of this list is the row index the second component of this list is column index the third value of this list is the existing or the old value of the cell and the fourth value of this list will tell us the new value of the cell so what i'm saying is xi is the x or uh, row index input dollar table dollar changes one one so this will give me the row index similarly i've got the column index the old value and the new values and we can print it we can do manipulation we can do whatever the app uh, use case is in this case if there is a change what i am doing is i am printing those values i am saying row index of the cell which is which is changed xi column index of the cell which is changed yi old value of the cell and the new value of the cell 